to give it a lengthy personality questionnaire, examine philosophical <laughs> questions of whether or not it, you know, uh, had consciousness, etc. But, you know, it walked, it sniffed, it, it was a rat um, living. So the point is that brain activity um, can and will start again in mammals after cryopreservation. Um, yes? Uh, and I believe there's people as well, uh, which I saw from the video that you posted on your blog, which have been in a, in a state where they've been uh, in a cold environment or frozen on the water where they've been basically dead, heart stopped for, for many hours, which have been brought back. And as far as I understand, they are, they are meant they were maybe they have brain damage, but they are, you know... I don't recall the exact case studies, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. There's been several cases like that. So surely that, that is some proof. But to let's, let's be clear about this, because I think if we, we should be in mind that we may be speaking to scientists watching this on the web, perhaps, who, who are very serious, have serious questions of a technical nature, and quite reasonably say, if this is serious, if this is real, if that paper is real, why haven't I already heard about it? I mean, there's a sort of fallacy to that, but it isn't really a fallacy. It's, it's a rational... My uh, suggestion to those scientists to is them, to go to depressmetabolism.com yeah. and read the paper yeah. and decide for themselves with a much more expert opinion than and, I could possibly provide it, from my non-scientific background. If it's a straightforward background. experiment, repeat it. But also... I believe that Ashvin and Chana Devolf um, are either in the process or of doing so or planning to do so to publicise it better right. this time. Right, absolutely. And follow... Uh, it's, it's just the beginning. I mean, give the rapid personality test next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but the, to sharpen it for the, the technical people, uh, there are... There are questions we can distinguish, the sort of objections that we give given by technical people. We can distinguish different ones. The uh, chap over there was mentioning um, the question, the, the issue, uh, with, with the people that have been uh, under the ice or whatever, fallen at the point. Um, that's a response to the question that the scientists that on the Eamon Holmes program that you were on raised, which is a question of volatility of uh, the information stored in the brain, yeah. which is kind of fundamental neuroscience question, yeah. which is just what we don't know about fundamental neuroscience part of it, and that's a very that's a kind of counter argument to that objection. What if the brain's kind of volatile? Uh, th but the other question, the one that uh, Veronica raised, is the question about the small scale structure of the brain. <coughs> so it's not necessarily volatility, but um, small scale structure being uh, destroyed by our best preservation methods. So there's two, two issues there. The, the, um, the people on the pond is a kind of response to one of the objections, but there's still the other objection. Um, damaged, not destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, the human body is a machine, a biological machine, and a machine can be repaired with enough time and resources. Um, and with the blueprint. gets to become a more and more... Um, well, the blueprint is right there in the DNA. No, it's not. The blueprint, that will give you, that will give you your twin brother. But the, the information? Exactly. The blueprint of the information, yeah. That you can't just fix oh, that. Oh, you mean the information in the mind? To store it to. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Sorry, forgive me. I thought you meant the information in regards to um, the, you know, the blueprint for the body itself. Oh, yeah. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, you're right. That... Um, and that's what it all comes down to, really. Yeah, that blueprint for the information in the mind to... Um, the best of our knowledge is possibly lost, possibly not, we simply don't know. Um, you could give the train the rat to go through a maze, and you know mm -hmm. if it could go through this maze. That would, uh, that would certainly indicate whether or not um, memory can be transferred. And if memory cannot be transferred, then all the more reason to focus on the process of life journaling, recording memories, and um, memory insertion. But I just we're going to wind this up in a moment, not that we're going to stop the discussion because uh, you're not running away, are you? My train leaves at 17.55, so I have time to join you guys in the pub afterwards. Or even just a bit more discussion here. Whatever, yeah. the, you know, Adam, you had a more question. And then, uh, this will be the last one before we stop. Yeah. Adam? Um, apart from going to the meetings, how can the average person help uh, Chronix UK? Um, Publicise us. You know, personal networking, that kind of thing. Talk to people. Um, um, about cryonics uh, and cryonics UK, point people to the website, allow people to form their own decisions. Uh, do encourage anybody with interest to get in touch with myself or somebody else at cryonics UK. Um, and um, yeah, really, whatever somebody's skill set, um, there's usually a way that they can assist, it depends on the individuals. But um, if somebody feels they literally have no skill set they can bring to the table, one, that's unlikely, but if it were, 
then it's still possible to spread the word, which is helpful because, you know, I went for years without knowing there was suspension services in the UK. And before that, when I was just involved with cryonics, you know, before I signed up for cryonics, I went for years not knowing that cryonics was available and accessible. So getting the getting word out there is tremendously important too. So is there no online facility for donating to CUK? Uh, at present, um, not for Chronics UK. Um, I dare say we could make one. Uh, there used to um, be one, nobody used it, we took it away. Um, I could certainly put it back if there's a call for it. You can make a PayPal button. Yeah, easily enough. So you've covered a vast range of topics, especially at the end, when we've got some very interesting questions, questions indeed. Uh, which go even beyond some of the issues in chronics. So, uh, I mean, you're leading the discussion back onto the other things we, just, we, we we look at in these Humanity Plus meetings. So, whether that was intentional or not, I think I doubly thank you. So, you've done a great Question job. Time after the thing, I just um, forget yeah. to let things go. That's fine. So, let's give a uh, very warm uh, thanks to. <laughs>